Premier, it's day two and we had a lot of great action yesterday. I expect much the same already with a little bit of an aggressive move. In fact, Kicker pushing out to the E-Box with the team behind him. Look at how much they're coming into this A-Bomb side. Brilliant start as they take down Brolin. And this is exactly the kind of high-powered play that Mad Lions took to Fnatic and kind of caught them off guard. And it was great to see over on Mirage. Now we're on train and there is a bit of response and no bomb plant. Not as quick as I was hoping for here. You know, but they're starting to push up now. They they hit the pause button. That gave Fnatic some time to breathe, but now they're re-aggressing. These are great kills. Kickert with the triple, and that's just what I outlined previously. He is going to be aggressive and getting down these train lanes. JW, the last one left. Two bullets in the chamber, and he's going to back on out. This should be an impossible clutch. Kickert is going to go down eventually, but he's done his job. Yeah, it's just Yekandar and Adren that are left, and I don't even actually know how they can... They can I mean, he's in a crossfire no matter what he does. He's gonna try and run down Adren, and it's not gonna work out. He'll go down, and VP will pick up the pistol round. Yeah, they are. They are really close to the A side. I mean, they could be in there in a second, and Brolin and Golden... They're about to get shot in the back there in a very, very uncomfortable sandwich. As long as that smoke is up, Golden will get a kill. OJW! Who are the smoke to take down Sanji? Another kill with the scout coming in, and the bombs drop back here. This is actually a bit of a disaster now. 25 seconds, and somehow Fnatic have done so much damage. A great setup for JW. What a triple kill. And now there's a Dren alone in a one versus two. The bomb out in the middle of nowhere, and he... I don't know. He has to basically run and fight right now. I think he may have already lost the round without even knowing it. It's just not possible for him to get the bomb planted in this circumstance he's looking for the kills at the very least but again three seconds on the clock here and Fnatic with a huge swing back JW an absolute hero in that round <laughs> doesn't want to peek into the deagle too much flashbang and again James scared you have that wide angle swing with the deagle and he's gonna back off that's Sanji taking a kill from middle and JW still spots nothing that leaves Golden to go down to kicker and this is an issue now for Fnatic. Three on three, still very recoverable, but actually, surprisingly, a lot of pressure being applied by BP in this round. JW also swinging, quite committed to that fight. The Deagle comes in, the flashbang will help him out, and that was, that was last second, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh no, they know Kickert's position. He's got the bomb as well. One versus two, he's out. He's got the scout as well. I'm gonna wrap around towards old bomb. There is Flusha waiting, does damage, but not the kill. One chance. And Crims puts him down. Is forced back by the flames, by the Molotov, and Brolin actually has lost control of ladder room. That's an odd peak. Running backwards. The flashbang wasn't even effective, but he builds on it. And now he's got a free AWP. This is brutal. Adren burns alive in ladder room, and Virtus Pro was not ready for this in any way. 37 seconds on the clock, and the bomb is still not picked up. Brolin continuing, still back in main. Three kills for him in the round. It's absolutely disgusting to watch. Kick it, I guess, just gonna try and see if he could get a last parting kill. Oh, Flusher running into that one. Another one, that's just the MP9 going down, so maybe not the, the biggest deal there. See if he can outlive the round. Oh, he gets one more, and that's the AWP that he carries over. That's so much output. You take those odds? All, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> going down to JW. He was trying to chase him down. He was almost baited into it because Flush had taken so much damage and was being so aggressive with the MP9 that he really, really, whatever that looked like, he was lured into that fight. Grim's going down, but Golden with a nice return with the AWP, and he actually turns Ooh. for it, taking down Sanji. What a nice swing, Golden. We don't normally used to see him, uh, you know, do that much with the AWP, but that's, that's great. Here we are, James. AWP again. He took three shots that round. None of them landed. I really like the name Yakindar. It sounds like uh, an expensive clothing brand. Like, you know, f something that makes fur or something, I reckon. And he's gonna get a kill right there with a the deal. Taking down Brolin, so... Put on that coat and go running into the yard. He's gonna get a kill there, JW. And Jame coming in from the other side with a Tech-9. It's a three on three. And, the ooh, Yakindar getting a kill with the ooh. AK-47. Taking down Crims, leaving Flusher and Golden. This is actually looking pretty good for VP. A chance here to pick up a second round. Wow. Golden's been spotted. I'm kind of surprised he didn't he didn't catch that or didn't notice it. Flusher now needs this kill. Tracks over, but he's taking a lot of damage. Going to make his move. He saw one way against the wall. I believe he caught that spot. And Yekindar with a great peek. Four kills for him. 
I was used to it by now. <laughs> That's a good point. You've been talking about that, that train boost for a while. We finally saw it yesterday. Yeah. Oh, look at this rush. Flusha, you got to get that Molotov out. Crims, that's an important kill. Just to give Flusha some time. They're going to back away, and now they're getting caught on sidewalk. Not able to make it all the way around. Yekendar falls. Brolin with a triple kill to close it out. The AUG <laughs> still does work. 7-2. to two. They're thinking about a Kosanji's over there at Ivy, and he's been looking in that whole time. So if they could get three people out of Pop Dog, they could absolutely do some damage to Golden right here. And he spotted them now with the M4. 25 seconds left. Sanji goes down. That's an important kill for Brolin to get. He's going to continue to pick it up. He is a monster right now. They're going to go for the bomb plant, and finally Brolin is taken down. Now it's a two-on-two, -two, and Bro Flusher, even low on health, still being incredibly mobile with that MP9. But what could he really do? It's going to be maybe Crims coming out of Pop Dog here could do anything. They're both looking for him though and Fnatic may actually want to save this we just talked about their economy situation this is the best opportunity for vp to take around shatter the economy and get a chance for a win crims trying to provide some distraction with gunfire to allow flusha to get out of the smoke it's not even close to being successful that's a third round for vp player in ladder room to spot that out very early on. That's going to be Brolin and Crims is doubled up, so they could actually have a huge flank. And I think this is doubled up because there's no other information oh anywhere my. on the map. Great kill from Adren. That was actually such a smart play from Flusher. I think he just walked right into the crosshair, but I think he could have caught at least one off guard there. Golden bumping into Yakandar inside of the smoke, but Jane will take care of it. He just saw the feet, and that's, that's the round. I honestly... It's not that you have to play passive, but, you know, that, that flank is part of the strength of that defense. So Flusha pushing, Golden trying to get cute in the smoke over towards Pop Dog. Listen, LASIK is the best decision I ever made. Yeah, I was play. certainly not a glasses Ooh. person. Was nice a opening kill from Yekandar. Crims against the wall. GW right here. Around the corner, Sanji spots it out, but he can't win the fight. Yeah, that was a very cool move from Yekandar. Aggressive on his own, just to trying to hit it. But Brolin is coming back alive again. Again with the Org. He's just become kind of a master at that. It's kind of cool to see. Her man up now is right around the corner. And let's see if he's going to take the swing wide enough. The gun barrel might show. Yep, JW knows, and he goes straight for it. Oh, man, the tip of that barrel. This is the thing with JW, right? Like, these are the results when he does a super aggressive play where you're just like, oh, okay, well, we just, I guess JW will just make those all the time and he'll make it work. And he so you have to take the good with the bad. He's been like that his whole career. Oh, good shooting from Kicker. He's been on point, but he had, no, he had no way to know where Brolin was in that moment, so. What is the smart decision for your opponent to make, and you're trying to counter that? Well, JW often makes the silly decision, but it works. Whether it's catching him off guard or a stunning shot. Kickguard has another opening. Smoke to cover his flank from ladder room, but Brolin is standing tall, and he's not giving up any of the fights. Flush is gonna come through. He's got an angle, and behind is Sanji making noise. One more for Flusha, transfers out to the AK. Yeah, and makes his escape. That's actually a very, very smart move. I kind of wish Kickard would have kept going. I feel like his aim is on point this game. I, I actually want Kickard off the lease right now. It's going to be a kill on Yekandar traded there. Brolin also going down. Still a two on three. More than a minute left. JW, really long angle down there. James is looking for him, but he might cross right in. He sees just a bit. Oh, I don't know. JW fired the gun, but nothing connected. He stopped short. Stanza levels of stopping short. Good shot from Flusher. Good flank. Kickert was searching for that for some time. Realistically, 25 seconds, and that's really, I think, the main problem that he's dealing with right now. He's almost just going to have to run and put the bomb down and cross his fingers that no one is nearby and then deal with the rest because he's not going to find any one of them. And indeed, he'll be found by Golden instead. So 10 to 5. Fair enough. Yep. Oh, they maybe could have rushed that. They're going to go upper instead. Kick it and Jamer quite far back. This is all about the B-bomb side. Golden's just a distraction out here. And what a distraction he's being, but inside of the B-bomb side, that is a very critical kill for Jame. Leaving it in a three versus four. The bomb being planted quickly. Kick it, getting one more kill on Brolin. And actually, in spite of a very, very fast strategy here from Fnatic, it looks like VP are in the lead. Sanji goes down. And what could they do with just the Glocks here? They're really being hunted. They've got nowhere to stand. They're all being funneled up against the back left side of the bomb side. Flusher trying to fight his way out, but again, there's three people coming from two of them behind, and Kicker will take him down. VP win the pistol. That was some great shooting from the CT side there. More in the favor of Fnatic, excuse me. I don't know if that's Despite reasonable. Despite the fact that VP had a re yeah, relatively decent first half. 
That looks a little bit skewed. At least in me. terms of the actual the actual scoreline itself. Good opening kill from Brolin, popping out of the smoke. He really has uh, bought into this uh, Fnatic insanity very well. Yeah, he's young and impressionable and, and really good at aiming. It's kind of the perfect mix, isn't it? He's uh, he's bought, <laughs> drank all the Kool-Aid. Kick it is right underneath Flusher at this point oh. in time, but how do you check that? Just like, I guess, uh, here it comes. You check like it that. just like that, Anders. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Thanks, Flusher, for the, for the moment, for the education. <laughs> they only lose JW at least so far. VP saving the M4 and the AWP, that will help them some, but... I want to see VP back away from this. They might just get this kill by virtue of low HP on Flusher, but this is risky. They had such a huge advantage, and this push, it's all on it now, especially because JW's got the flank. And of course, Flush is going to handle business with 2 HP. Couldn't take a single point of damage after the initial contact. Yeah, I mean, he's got 21 kills. He's been pretty active. I think the problem on the CT side is they can go away from him. Not so much on the T side, where you're right. Maybe he could have been used a bit more on the entrance. Jame is boxed in. He's trapped in old hell. There's going to be a Dren coming in from Z Hall, but he's gone down, and Jame falls as well. 14 to 7, and now that Fnatic have gained control of the economy... Yeah? Uh, what, how would you punish Corning? I don't know yet. That's why I said we need to come up with it. Golden's going to go down. Nice trade from Brolin. And Sanji desperately coming through the smoke. JW doesn't look like he's going to clear this. So Jane will have an AK-47 to work with, but they know exactly where he is. And Yekindal has a frag. They know exactly where he is as well. And Fnatic now have eight chances to close out this map. You know, gave him, gave him a shout-out after Berlin, and we're like, okay, let's stop making fun of him, because he's actually got some skills, but he's not putting them to use at all. Not right now, I agree. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorite stories, is Jame actually beating the meme. Like, he actually he actually defeats the meme, which is great. I love seeing that, but we need to bring it back to that level once again. Four versus three, and Fnatic gonna put the bomb down. Jame inside of the smoke, he wants to go through, I think, or at least he's gonna be, it's gonna be fading in a second here. He's got some backup behind him. Oh, JW! I don't know if that was just a blind shot, or if he actually saw just a leg. It looked like he might have there, but that's a three on three. Flusher covering behind, Yakandar gonna be showing up. He does win the fight, but JW's found another one. He's trying to get a bit closer. He's got one chance, and he misses it, leaving Golden alone. That bomb is down, but only for a couple of seconds. They have some time here, VP, if they wanna get that defuse. No no kit being picked up right now. There's one of the kills for Golden and Yekandar now on the other side. Everything is on this. The grenade will slow it down, but it's such a long defuse. Yekandar, it doesn't matter. He gets the kill and they'll still lose the map. 16 to 7 Fnatic with a really powerful performance here today.